What is up guys, Waggy 709 here, I am back today with a different type of video. Today I'm just going to talk more of a personal video. Um, it's about how I've got into Open University. Uh, I want to just quickly go over my thought process, etc. How that's going to affect myself and the channel, although I can't really call it much of a channel because I don't upload that often. I'm trying really hard though, it's just finding, finding the type of content I want to make and then doing that content basically. So um, anyway, I'm doing Open University because I didn't want to tie myself with a university and having to travel through from where I am uh, to that university like four days a week etc. Um, when I can do Open University and do it all from home, it just makes it a lot easier, it makes it easy to do around all my personal life. Um, you know, you can effectively do it whenever you want as long as you get it done by the um, cutoff points obviously then that's all fine. So I'm doing a computing and IT course. Um, it's a degree, it's a bachelor's in science honours degree. Um, I'm doing that, it's going to take three years because I'm doing it, if I'm doing it full time. Um, you can do it part time, I think you can, you can take a number of years I think. But I think typically people take about six years. Um, so if you do it that way, you're doing it part time where you do a you basically do as might be obvious but you do a full year's worth of a full time position over two years so effectively you do half the work over the full year that's so people can do it around work and stuff there's you know there's people that work 30 hours 40 hours a week and then do this as well um but obviously I'm not working at the moment so I'm going to just try and get it done for well full time do it three years uh, they do say I need to spend 36 to 40 hours a week on it because it's full time. Um, so obviously I, it'd be very hard for me to work full time and also do this full time because that would be 80 plus hours a week. But you know, it, it would be difficult anyway. Especially if I'm working during the day because then I've either got to take up all my evenings doing this course or do it in the mornings before I go to work. So. You know, touch wood. Anyway, I'm doing this full time. If I get a job, meanwhile, then that'd be great. I'd love a part time online job. That'd be fantastic. Um, but until then, I'm doing this full time anyway. So it's forty hours a week. It's computing and IT. I think I have like four modules this year. Um, if anyone wants like an in depth video on the ins and out of Open University, let me know. Comment away. Um, or tweet me. So Waggy two seven oh nine, and I will get back to you and I will make the video if it needs doing I will be more than happy to do the video um, anyway so basically what you do is obviously it's all online there's some open university courses that is you have to go to some places sometimes or you have to meet up in person but my personal one is all online or through paperwork and stuff so they're going to send out all that stuff to me Everything that I need from their end, I'm going to send to me and they say all I need from my end is a computer with an internet connection. So obviously, uh, you know, 95% of people have that, so that's all very good. There's actually no entry requirements, which is a bit odd to say it's a degree, so effectively anyone can sign up and do it. Um, so there is that to look out for, that you know anyone can do it. So although I do have qualifications to go to university, I have a... Um, I have a BTEC distinction and distinction merit in a game design and development so I, I did have a uni course that we were going to do last year but I changed my mind for personal reasons and yeah so I could get to university so there is that little fall where you don't actually need any qualifications like they've never at all checked or asked me what my qualifications are for this course say I'm doing a computing and IT course which generically for like universities and stuff they'd want you to have like an A level in A level in maths which I don't have um, they'd want to check your GCSEs a lot of universities want you to get an A in, G in maths in GCSE which I don't have um, so it is very handy that you don't need qualifications just beware if you are wanting to do it and thinking oh you don't need qualifications beware it is a, it is a proper degree you know it, if, especially if you're doing it full time it's going to be very very full on no doubt I will struggle at first because it's been 
18 months since I've been in education, so absolutely no doubt it will be a struggle at first, just getting my head around it. So if you've been out longer or if you've, you know, never really done anything apart from high school, um, just beware, just keep that in mind. Maybe do it part-time for the full year just so to get you sent up to speed. Anyway, I'm doing that computing and IT course. It's four modules, like I said. Pretty sure three start in October, which is next month. That's when it starts. I think my course officially starts on October the 7th, I believe. Early October, anyway. Um... It's all done through, it's all paid for through your student loan. Um, you just apply for a normal student loan, although you, part, you apply for a part time loan, not a full time loan. Even if you are doing it like me, if you're doing it full time, you still apply for a part time loan. The only, it makes no difference to yourselves, um, apart from you don't get a maintenance loan yet with a part time loan. So if you're wanting, if you're thinking, oh, I'll do a degree with Open University at home, maybe cut back on my hours at work. Beware that you won't be able to get a maintenance loan like you would typically if you went to university. That's the only real difference. Um, you know, so that's why a lot of people do do it part time because they obviously can't afford to cut back on work. A lot of people can't. Obviously, if you're in that position where you can cut back on hours, you know, feel free, go for it. Um, I'm just saying, just bear that in mind that you won't be able to get a maintenance loan. There's rumours that the government are about introducing it. Um, I think maybe next year so possibly maybe next year it would be handy I mean it's a bit of kicking the teeth that you can't get it I feel like it's I don't understand why like you know you should be able to especially if you are doing it full time even though it's a part time course effectively so um, yeah anyway so you won't be able to mince alone that's the only thing you need to really look out for as well um, if you're thinking about doing it so the reason between doing a community and IT course is basically because I love the idea of working in computing and IT. Uh, obviously I did game design at college, really enjoyed that. I love the idea of programming and learning the ins and outs of computers. Computers fascinate me. Never really like knowing how to properly get around to doing it because obviously I know there's a lot of stuff online, YouTube videos and stuff you can learn and stuff, but I, as much as I like watching stuff, I feel like I need to be doing it as well to properly learn it. I'm one of those learners. Um, I like do I learn quicker when I'm doing it. So if you know if it's to do with programming, I'm gonna learn better if I'm actually programming. If it's to do with software development, you know I'm gonna do better if I'm actually doing the software development and learning about servers and all this stuff, which I find which I find fascinating. But I'm just gonna find it a lot easier doing it through this way. So that's why I'm doing the computer and IT course. I want a career in computer and IT. Um, you know, still the future. I think a lot of people are a bit meh about it because a lot of stuff's overseas or it's a very crammed area now, computing and IT. But if you go for the right career choice, um, then I think you, you know, it's not going to be easy to get a job, but there's a lot of jobs you can get with a computing and IT course, which can, you know, usually pay all right and will do you good. So. That's my reason behind doing a computer and IT course. If you guys want any sort of specific videos about my computer and IT course, maybe I talk about what I'm learning or do like a weekly catch up, monthly catch up of where I am and roughly how long I've been spending a week on it, um, then feel free just to let me know. Like I said, comment in, the, comment in the comment section or tweet at me or I don't know, track me down on Instagram, Waggy279, <laughs> comment on a picture on that. I don't know. Anyway. Um, if you want one, like I say, a week catch up, a monthly catch up, just so you can get in your head if you're thinking about doing it, you know, what someone's perspective is on it. I'm more than happy to do that. So just, yeah, like I said, just let me know. Um, I might do, I'll probably do a couple of videos and like stuff that they've sent out to me and stuff and might mention it in a few vlogs or whatever. So just, you know, if you want to keep up with that, please subscribe and like the videos. So I know you're enjoying this sort of stuff. Like I say, I know it's a bit out there because it's not really, you know, it's more just me, my personal stuff. But if you enjoy that content, then please let me know. Um, like I said, when I get stuff out sent to me, I will go through it all, show it, and then maybe, like I say, if people want it, I'll do like a weekly catch-up or a monthly catch-up. Uh, just how I'm fitting it around my life and how many hours roughly I am spending a week on it 
um, just in case you want to know and if there's anything else you want to know about the Open University feel free to tweet at me or whatever or comment in the comment section and I will you know, make a video on that uh, just a quick note it's not just September October time where well October time where the courses start a lot of courses start also in February so if you are thinking I'd like to do it but I don't want to wait a year you don't have to it's February um, for a lot of courses just literally go on the website have a have a look and I, I think the vast majority of them have a start date in February or maybe another month early next year so um you know, there's absolute forward, so that's another plus point at Open University. They're not actually strictly formatted for the acad academic year. You can just start in February. And again, it'll be the normal year cycle. You'll just go from February to February apart, you know, instead of um, October to October. So don't worry about that. Like I say, if you want any other videos about Open University, let me know and I will get them done. And thank you for guys for watching. Please like and comment and subscribe if you want to enjoy more. All social links in the description and I will see you guys in a bit.